You want to add mods, like Forge mods, to a Minecraft 1.21.3 server. In this video, I want to show you exactly how to do that. Now, keep in mind that this server we're making in this video is not a 24-hour server. It's going to be up and running only when your computer is up and running. On top of that, you're going to need a really, really good computer to run a modded server and play modded Minecraft at the same time. Modded servers are way more resource intensive than vanilla servers are, requiring more RAM and CPU, so keep that in mind, you're gonna need a really good computer as well as a really good internet connection. Because this is on your own internet, you're going to need a good internet connection and anyone who joins this server can DDoS you, basically meaning hit your internet offline and figure out where you live down to your latitude and longitude coordinates, meaning this server is just for your friends, your family, basically people you would invite over to your house. Now with all that out of the way, what if you don't want to have to worry about security like DDoSing or people figuring out where you live or you don't have to worry about hardware, you don't have a good computer, you just want to be able to play Minecraft, not host the server on your computer at the same time and what if you want a server that's up 24-7 or only up and running when you want it to be. It's your choice. Well, that's where our company, Simple Game Hosting, comes in. Go to the first link in the description down below, the breakdown.xyz slash simple to start your very own 24-hour DDoS protected Minecraft server for you and your friends. You can easily add mods, plugins, and mod packs to your server and truly customize your server any way that you want, whether that's with adding individual mods or whether it's with adding whole mod packs of hundreds of mods. You can do that all easily at Simple Game Hosting. Plus, if you have any issues along the way, let's say a mod is added to your server and not working, there's expert live chat support there to help you out with issues exactly like that that way you're not alone and you can actually get some help troubleshooting and get the issue fixed in minutes so stop struggling to host a minecraft server and start your modded server the simple way at the first link in the description down below the breakdown.xyz slash simple now with that being said what if you do want to host a server on your own computer we're going to be going over that in this video and to do that you want to go to the second link down below that's going to take you here this is our guide on getting forge it's worth noting at this moment i'm going to mention it a few more times but every single mod you add to your server will also need to be installed in the local mod folder for every single person joining your server. So let's say you install, for example, Biomes of Plenty, which is a very popular Minecraft mod, onto your server. You and your friends and anyone else will need to install Forge and add that mod to their mods folder. Luckily, we've got guides on that. So you can send this guide here to your friends and they will be able to install Forge using it and get Biomes of Plenty or any other mods you send them to install installed using these guides. So with that being said, once you're here, go ahead and click download Forge and that will take you to Forge's official download page. Then you want to click 1.21 and then select 1.21.3 on the left hand side. Finally, come under download latest, click on the installer and you will be taken off to add focus for stop. Put your hands in the air. Wait about 10 seconds. After about 10 seconds, a red skip button will appear in the top right. The only thing you want to click on this page is that red skip button in the top right. And when you click on it, Forge will begin downloading. As long as Forge is in the title here, which it is, you're going to keep or save this file. Now we can go ahead and minimize our browser. What we want to do is find that Forge file that we downloaded. Now for me, that's going to be in my downloads folder, but for you, it'll be wherever files normally download. What we want to do is go ahead and right click on this, click on open with, click Java and click OK. But what if you don't have Java here? Or you do, you click OK and it doesn't work. Well, that's because you need Java 21. Java 21 is required for Minecraft mods and it's required for Minecraft servers. So if you're starting a modded server, you definitely need to get Java 21. It's linked in the description down below. Specifically, our in-depth guide is linked in the description down below that goes over everything you need to know to get it. You may also need to run the jar fix. This is going to take all the jar files on your computer and link them back to Java, making them work happily together. But first, get Java 21, then run on the jar fix and you'll be good to go. Then we go ahead and minimize our browser, right click on Forge, click on Open With, click Java and click OK. The first thing we want to do is actually install Forge locally. Like I said, you're going to need to play Minecraft using Forge in order to join your server with the mods installed and all that. So we need to go ahead and click Install Client. Click OK, that'll install. Make sure you've played Minecraft 1.21.3 before, as well as Minecraft, the Minecraft launcher are closed, and this will work. Once that's done, click OK, it will close out of Forge. Then we want to right click, create a new folder, and we can title this anything we want. I'm going to name it Forge 1.21.3 server because that's what we're installing. Now go ahead and open up the Forge installer again. And then this time what we want to do is click on install server. When you do that, a red box is going to appear. Click on the three dots within that red box and then navigate to desktop and then the folder you created. So in our case, that's forge 1.21.3 server. Click open and if all is done correctly, that folder should be empty, meaning the red box disappears and we can click OK. Now it's going to download all the files we need to use Forge in Minecraft. So it's downloading everything from the server files to the modded Forge files. All of that stuff is being installed and once it's done, it will tell us it's done and say successfully downloaded Minecraft server and installed Forge 1.21.3. Click OK and you can actually delete the Forge installer now. 
Now open up this folder that's on our desktop here, this forge 1.21.3 server. This is all of our server files. Now you can read this. It's going to give you some information about hosting your server if you open the readme file in TXT here. We're going to be going over the basics of this in this video as well, but it is worth checking out if you want. From here, we can go ahead and double click on the run.bat file, and it will go ahead and start running the server. The first time you start the server, though, it's going to fail. As you can see, press any key to continue. Go ahead and click on that, and it will close out of it. Now, we have an eula.txt file here. Open this up, and assuming you agree to the Minecraft eula, which we do, change eula equals false to eula equals true. T-R-U-E, exactly like that. Click File and Save, and now when we double click the run.bat file, guess what? Our Forge server is going to start. That's that easy to get a modded server up and running. Now, at this point, there are no mods on the server or anything like that. Your friends can't even join this server, but the server is up and running, and this is what it will look like. It will have the console over here and another kind of GUI-based console here. You can use either one of these to manage your server. For example, if you wanted to op yourself, you can come here and type op and then your username. In this text box, hit enter, and it will go ahead and op you on the server. Uh, it says that player does not exist because I've never joined the server, but if I had, it would, it would have opted me there. So there you have it. That's how you can basically start your server. How do you add mods to it? Well, it's pretty simple. You want to download mods. The best places to download mods are from Minecraft Mods on CurseForge or Minecraft Mods on Modrinth. Both of these websites are linked down below. Make sure when you're downloading mods, they're for Forge and 1.21.3. Mods for any other Minecraft version or any other Minecraft mo mod loader, including the NeoForge will not work. Yes, NeoForge mods will not work with Forge and vice versa. They must be for Forge and 1.21.3. You can also filter on CurseForge on the left-hand side to Forge and then 1.21.3, and all of these mods will work. Now, with that being said, you will need to port forward as well. I mentioned playing with your friends, and port forwarding is required to do that. Luckily, it's the same for every type of Minecraft server, and we have a guide in the description down below on how to port forward your Minecraft server. This goes over everything you need to know to get port forwarding set up for your Minecraft server, specifically you're going to forward port 25565 for both TCP and UDP. If that sounds like gibberish, no worries. This goes through everything you need to know to get it up and running. At this point, though, you now know how to get everything up and running in Minecraft for your server. If you have any issues, we have an in-depth guide in the description on how to fix a broken Minecraft server. It goes over modded servers, vanilla servers, and everything in between. A lot of vanilla issues can creep into modded servers, so it's really important that it has both of those there. But at this point, you now know how to get this server. If you're going to join it, how would you do that? Well, let me show you. At this point, this server is not port forwarded. Your friends will join your server using your public IP address. Once your server is port forwarded, that's all covered in that guide. But if you wanted to join your server, we're going to want to play Minecraft with Forge. As I mentioned, you have to play Minecraft with Forge in order to join your server. So make sure you're using that Forge installation for the correct version, 1.21.3 in this case. It's also worth noting, any mods you add to your server will need to go into the mods folder here. So for example, if we added in a mod, we would also want to add it into this local mods folder here, as well as into the mods folder on the server right here. But nonetheless, we can now go ahead and launch a Minecraft. And since there are no mods in the server, we don't have to have mods in both places because there are no mods, but they must be in both places. Otherwise, things will not work. And now once Minecraft is open, we can join your server by going to multiplayer, clicking proceed, and then adding a server here. Now you can name this anything you want. I'm gonna name it local connection because this is a local connection that only you can use. Again, your friends will join using your public IP and that's all co covered in our port forwarding guide. For the server address, we use local host. All one word exactly like that, local host. Click done and there it is, local connection. Your server is now good to join. I'll actually see us join in over here on the left-hand side, right like so. Now, as I said, we can now op ourselves because we've joined, so we can type op and then our username, hit enter, and now we can do things in game, like go and do slash game mode creative, as well as ban players, like we could ban ourselves. And uh, yeah, we've now been banned from the server. If you ever do something like this, you can undo it in the console, right? So we can come in here over to the console and type pardon and then our username, and um, well, we will be unbanned and be able to rejoin because we banned ourselves in game. So there you have it. If you have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. Be sure to give this a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Enjoy playing modded Minecraft on your server. We'll see you in the next one. I am out. Peace.